Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to um, turn square edges into rounded edges, whether for a photo or a journal card or whatever um, else it is that you're wanting to do. So um, I will be doing that with using my new kit, this boy that just released this weekend and <clears throat> is available in my store. You can find the link um, below. And it's just a really fun boys kit. So um, I have, I'm the mom of four boys, so I'm constantly looking for and creating boy kits because you can never have enough. Um, okay, so let's jump right in on this tutorial. I'm gonna find, here we go. I have this um, journal card here. And um, actually I'm gonna open a different one because I was playing around with this one and it's not exactly how I opened it so let me open a different card okay we're, let's do this one great okay so now you'll notice that it's um, opened it's saved as a JPEG so the background is is solid. We're not able to move it or do anything because it's a locked background layer. So what we're going to do is if we double click on that to change it to a layer, then we're able to see that behind us. And that just helps make it easier for what we're going to do. We want to have to make sure that the layer is, is not locked. Um, okay, so now we've got these squared edges and um, we are gonna make a, turn it into a rounded card. So to do that, we're gonna start, we're gonna draw, we're gonna click on the shape button here, and we're gonna choose um, the rounded rectangle. Now I have the radius set at 50. Let's just draw it and see, and you wanna get as close as you can to the card. So there might be a little bit on the outside, so that's, that's a pretty good round. Um, we're going to hide that layer just for a minute, and we're going to change this to 30, just because I want us, you to see the different options that you can make with this. So here we go. Not bad. Um, you know, it just depends how much you want. Now let's hide both of those, and let's do 90. Now these are really fat edges. So it's completely up to what you like. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, so I think that my favorite was actually, oh, I don't know, I quite like that one. Let's, let's go with shape two. So I'm just gonna drag shape three and shape one up to the garbage can. And we're gonna go with shape two. Now the first thing we need to do with, with shape two is we need to simplify it. So right down here, click simplify. And now it's a simplified layer. And we can choose, go up here and choose our move tool. Okay, now once we make sure that we've got this exactly where we want it, we wanna make sure that there's, it's not hiding off the edges or whatever, we're gonna switch it to the bottom so that our card is on top. Now we're gonna highlight the card layer. And we're just gonna clip it, because in essence what we did is we created a mask for the shape of card that we want. So when we click Command G, it clips it. Now we can merge them together. And let's look in our photo bin. See, it shows it there, it's merged. We're just gonna open up this paper, and we're gonna slide this new card that we've made on top. And there you go, it's all ready for a shadow. And you can see, we'll zoom in. And you've got the nice rounded edges. And that's all there is to it. You can do that and make it, like I said, just change that corner pixel um, to make it as little of a curve or as big as a curve as you want. 
Thank you for joining me.